for that perfect crypto gift this holiday or even a read for yourself. If you're into a good Scroogey story surrounding Bitcoin this Christmas season, this one might be for you. The Scrooge of Bitcoin is a humorous send up on the original Scrooge story, but involving a sinister banker who wants to destroy the cryptocurrency. The story is available on Amazon as a Kindle download. A link is available in the description below. So pour yourself an eggnog and enjoy this crypto Christmas tale. Yes, your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of my two Satoshis. It is December 18th. Shout out to my man out there on YouTube, Darren B, for the song request today. Mob Deep, Survival of the Fittest, classic hip-hop joint right here. Thank you for that, Darren, and I hope you guys are doing well out there on YouTube. If you ever have a song request, just hit me on YouTube under any of my videos, hashtag song request, and I will get that in for you. Today, we are looking at something that... It's been a long time coming. I've been very critical of this network, of this blockchain. I know it's the second largest blockchain, but you guys know me. I don't get involved with the hype. I don't get involved with surface stuff. I look at the technicals. And technically speaking, I am not convinced Ethereum is ready for its next phase. Or if its next phase does come, which is which I what I mean by that is migrating from proof of work to proof of stake. If that is to come, I think it's not going to be in a timely manner. This blockchain industry is very competitive. It moves at light speed and two years is literally like I would say four to eight years in normal industries. So I don't see them being able to make that transition successfully and neither does coin floor. If you guys don't know who coin floor is, it is one of the OG cryptocurrency exchanges out of the UK. Yes, they are dropping Ethereum from their exchange. And we're going to get into the details of why and get your two Satoshis on it in the comments below. And speaking of Ethereum, this one address has dumped over 320,000 Ethereum in just three months. I'm going to take a look at what ICO this is and maybe get insight into why this dumping has commenced. And then lastly, experts claim allegations on MakerDAO vulnerabilities are substantial. Looks like there are some vulnerabilities that were exposed and experts are saying, yes, this is something we need to pay attention to coming out of Cointelegraph today. But before we start, if you guys find these types of videos informative, make sure you like, share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this. Shout out to Moon Lambo. That's shopmoonlambo.com. They have a sale going on 15%, but you can actually save even more than that. If you use the word CB20, you can save 20% off any apparel they have on the website for the holiday. So get over there to shopmoonlambo.com for those details. They have a lot of crypto apparel over there from men tees, hats, hoodies. They even have jackets uh, available. So get over there, shopmoonlambo.com. So let's take a look at the uh, market today. I mean, green now. Definitely green now. Wasn't looking like that earlier today, but we bounced off some technical areas that I told you guys should hold. And we we actually did hold it. Nice V shape on the one hour. This is very good news in my opinion. Double bottom is in play. It looks like so far so good. And I'm pretty confident that um, this may be that double bottom that we're looking for in the markets to uh, take us to the next high. Bitcoin is up five and a half percent to six thousand nine hundred and fifty five bucks its dominance is at sixty three percent we've got ethereum up seven point nine percent to one hundred and thirty one bucks eos up seven and a half percent to two dollars and thirty five cent we've got xrp up six percent to 19 cents we've got litecoin up six point five percent to thirty nine dollars and eighty nine cents binance up so we're looking seven percent six percent on average for all of the altcoins very strong move off these lows and as i'm talking about it let's just go ahead and take a look at it so bam here we go bounce right off of the 6500 area as i told you guys was a area to really watch very sharp move up the last time we saw this was here and from here we did move up even though we failed but we did move up all the way to 78 almost 7900 dollars on Coinbase's chart that was a 20% move from that low so let's see if we can keep that momentum going and make a move higher I will say if I draw these trend lines you're going to see some areas that are uh, converging i.e. this one here look at that if I draw that correctly boom look we bounced off the back side of this trend line uh, downward trend line and then we I just drew one here as well 
so i'm i'm assuming that we will find maybe some resistance at 7300 um but if we get above that that is a green light for us to go ahead and take out 7400 which is an area of resistance and hopefully we can go back for the 8300 area we are nearing the end of the year people so i think at some point the halving will start to be priced in i'm thinking in january we should start getting that momentum upwards so maybe we can make a move back to the 9400 area by the time we get to february or march of 2020 that is still from here a decent move up 36 percent move up from here so there is uh some potential for some great returns from these levels and as far as the algos go i'll give you a little snippet of what we did with the ethereum trade we closed that trade a few hours ago actually and uh now long so nice gains and actually from here all the way down we actually took profit twice down in this region before the move upwards before closing the entire position but i mean we got in maybe about almost 14 percent and, and some gains locked in there before changing our course to go long and uh, i think this is a good position to be in at this point in a long position for ethereum so i'm kind of giving you that one for free if you guys want to sign up it is on the screen cryptoblood.io you can still use that promo and get 20 percent off and already an additional discount for the six month and 12 month packages so take advantage of that soon this promo will be ending very soon cryptoblood.io first article though at the start of december the maker dow foundation hosted a number of governance polls on its website to ease rising concerns following allegations put forth by a developer in regards to how hackers with enough financial resources could potentially carry out an attack on the maker dial network and steal close to 340 million so as part of this initiative the foundation's interim risk team asked the global community of users if they should upgrade the platform's native governance security module from zero seconds to 24 hours in its essence, the GSM allows MakerDAO token holders to review any new changes that have been proposed for the MakerDAO ecosystem, thereby giving network participants a chance to act if any potential changes are deemed malicious. So this whole $340 million question. So in regards to this matter, the developer published a blog on December 9th claiming that any hacker with a disposable $20 million could potentially launch a full-scale attack on the maker dial network and pocket a cool 340 million worth of ethereum and this is his quote he said maker dial version 2 was supposed to launch with safeguards against a hostile maker holder stealing all collateral and potentially robbing a good chunk of unswap compound and other systems integrated with maker in the process instead they decided not to the programmer's primary point of contention is that maker dial's operational framework is plagued by an extremely niche technical glitch a small gms based time delay further elaborating on the network's vulnerabilities the developer said that hackers with 80,000 maker dial tokens currently have the option of doing whatever they please with makers native contracts this is because the system's current gsm delay quotient is set to zero which leaves network defenders completely helpless against attacks initiated by wealthy malicious agents coin telegraph reached out to my man robert beatles or crypto beatles president of monarch wallet on the subject and beatles said that micaiah brings up some real concerns that appear to hold water one of the problems with these decentralized smart contracts is that they are only as smart as the person who wrote them Beatles went on to say that very few people in the world can find such vulnerabilities and exploit them since crypto is still a very new phenomenon, adding that one of the drawbacks of having open source code is that people who do understand it and have the time can find ways to break it or exploit it. DeFi projects are really catching a lot of heat as far as popularity, not as, in, as far as criticism, but they're really blowing up fast and I think it needs to see more testing before we can have a confident stance on this new technology this new concept um so i would be very cautious in in this scenario you guys let me know your two satoshis on this situation with maker i thought that was pretty interesting and for the next article i want to give a shout out to my man out there on youtube who brought this to my attention sir kryptonator commented on this delisting of ethereum on coin floors exchange uh, so i want to give a shout out to him firstly for pointing that out i had not seen this yet so we're going to talk about that right now coingate says that there is more to coin floors cautious delisting of ethereum ethereum to hard fork in january 2020 again that's part of the reason it says in the lead up to ethereum 2.0 scheduled in 2023 ethereum should have ideally stabilized above 200 in traders thoughts i don't know why they felt that way i think this thing is actually going 
even lower and i'll give my two satoshis on that in a second after we get done with this article the eep 1884 and gas prices before istanbul cto of argon one highlighted the far-reaching consequences of the hard fork talking to coindesk he told the crypto news outlet that istanbul's hard fork will prevent some dow contracts from sending and receiving eats from each other and eventually they dos will run out of gas and stop so the eep 1884 increases gas prices of smart contract operations especially like slows that is heavily leveraged on argon but in early 2020 ethereum will execute yet another hard fork even though istanbul has already pushed up the cost of gas on some operations rendering them non-viable one critic says that ethereum developers don't know their system well enough with difficulty adjustments set to be postponed one critic now says ethereum is pressuring the community into agreeing to some hard fork and that without hard forks ethereum would eventually stop and this is very true this guy says you've heard that eth went through a disruptive hard fork just over a week ago this was a painful process that left broken contracts and nodes in its wake the next hard fork it's in two weeks why because otherwise the ethereum blockchain would slow to a crawl hmm and if we go further in his tweet thread he says since launch ethereum has a feature called ice age which is designed to make blocks slower over time this is done to pressure the ecosystem into agreeing to some quote-unquote hard fork which is known in advance and without a hard fork the chain would eventually stop so originally this was done to motivate a move to proof of stake however many years have gone by with no proof of stake system in sight instead hard forks just keep pushing the ice age further down and it became yet another way for eth devs to gain support for whatever changes they pushed hilariously he says on last week's hard fork they forgot to actually push the ice age forward as they usually do yep forgot they thought it wasn't time yet literally the genius ethereum devs didn't even know their own system well enough to notice that blocks are getting slower so this guy is really going in on this just this whole project and this is this literally people and those who have been following me for quite some time know i've been very critical of ethereum and the reasons uh we should be concerned now every blockchain has their issues it's software you're going to have bugs you're going to have issues that you need to work through but it's about how basically is your blockchain developed and designed in a in a form and fashion where you can easily fix these problems without interruption without causing old contracts to not work and just causing all types of chaos and i and, and this is something that i knew that ethereum didn't have the capabilities of doing and so it's, it's just very interesting to see this happening tour de meester actually uh chimed in on this whole situation he said my take on ethereum's ice age difficulty bombs it's an equivalent of the senate writing in the constitution that this country will transition to communism in xx days in order to ensure that the constitution be regularly updated thus conveniently turning senators into oligarchs been telling you guys this is some serious stuff as far as you know the severity of and the state of ethereum right now and it's actually not just right now it's been going this way and if you paid attention you will see this slow train wreck happening right before your eyes and so coin floor announced that it would be delisting eth reportedly because of uncertainty of future hard forks so this is um ex this is the direct reason why they're just giving up on ethereum right now and they said hey maybe we'll come back at this with ethereum 2.0 it's just too costly for them to continue to deal with these my these hard forks and and upgrade and, and keep things maintaining things in a, in a certain fashion where it can you know run smoothly on their exchange i don't really blame them and uh Ethereum 2.0 to me seems at least three years out that's my gut feeling at least three years out and again i've told you that is way too long to update to proof of stake which they have to to compete you can't be a smart contract platform and run proof of work proof of work has its reason in the in the whole blockchain game proof of work is better for actual cryptocurrencies not good for smart contract platforms let me know your two satoshis on that in the comments below and speaking of ethereum we've got an ico an ethereum ico has dumped 320,000 eth in the last three months let's take a look at what's going on here an ethereum wallet address loaded with 530,000 ethereum from the ico pre-sale has dumped over half since september 25th prior to this date the tokens have been hodled since 2015's initial coin offering and it was brought to the attention of the public from a guy on twitter from d5 data 
and uh, he said curious who this ETH ICO participant is they've dumped almost 300,000 ETH in the last few months the account have remained untouched since its inception until 83 days ago so according to the ether scan on september 25th the account saw its first transaction go out that was 45,000 ethereum then roughly every two weeks there was another token move out of the account with values ranging between 48,000 and 63,000 eth finally the dump seemed to pause on november 8th until four days ago when another 60,000 eth transaction was sent to a smart contract this latest sum is approximately worth 7.9 million and this all you know i don't know who ico this is but hey i just thought this was pretty interesting and it, it just it's funny because we did and i saw this i didn't report on this but vitalik buterin recently talked about how the ethereum foundation made 100 million by selling eth at all time high well they needed that 100 million because they are bleeding out sounds like a lot of money but not when you're dealing with a foundation that is funding various projects they have staff all over the world they've actually just shut down a couple of locations um, I can't remember I reported on this but um, that hundred hundred million will, will go fast if they can't seem to um, make some progress with moving to ethereum 2.0 any faster they have to move faster people they have to move faster but hey that's my two satoshis for today shout out to my man Darren B out there on YouTube for the song request mob deep survival of the fittest classic right there if you found this video informative make sure you like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more unbiased crypto news reported by yours truly crypto blood i'm out of here people Holla.